Specialized brackets can get pricey and may not have the look you want, so let's design and print one from scratch. This bracket setup will hold a balancing bar for ballet practice, but you can adapt the idea for any type of bracket you need. The bar needs to be held securely by a wrap around bracket on a sturdy base. It also needs to look nice. I always start by sketching out several ideas and homing in on the one that works best. As I sketch, I'm deciding on shape and size and how the 3D printed part will fit together with a wooden frame. I figure the walls need to be about four millimeters at the thinnest part, but thicker at the base of the circle cutout where the most pressure will be. Disclaimer, I can't tell you how thick your parts should be, so make sure you do your own research based on how your bracket will be used to ensure the final product is structurally sound. The sketch then gets turned into a 3D model, which is also the time to further refine the design. I have decided to do two 32 millimeter wide brackets for each side instead of one thick one. That will look cool and it'll be easy to make sure the wood corners are covered, even if the width varies by a few millimeters, which I know it does on the reclaimed lumber I'm planning to use. I eyeballed the placement for the screws and subtracted a two millimeter cylinder for each one. I loaded the model into Cura and did a test print, just a few millimeters of the bracket to make sure the dimensions work, especially the cutout for the rod, which needs to be a snug fit. This is semi-flex filament, so it's flexible but strong. I added the 45 degree angle so it will wrap around the front edge of the wooden portion of the bracket. This was also an opportunity to live tune some of the slicer settings. Now the dimensions look good and I've got the settings dialed in so we're ready to print the full size parts. My infill is at 100% since the thing being printed is going to be structural. I sped things up with a big old 0.6 nozzle and 0.25 layer height. This is a simple shape side to side and vertically so finer resolution wouldn't really matter. From the test print, I also figured out an ideal combination of settings, which includes 235 nozzle temp, 35 millimeters per second speed, and no cooling fan. Also, there's 120% material flow going on because there were gaps in the infill at the lower setting, and I need that infill to be solid. A single shell worked fine in this case and left plenty of room for that structural infill. All this together made for a super strong, really nice looking part. My print surface is print bite, which bonds really well with semi-flex. Definitely wouldn't want any bed heat turned on. It's already really challenging to get the brackets off the bed. So in retrospect, I would maybe decrease that initial layer thickness or move the plate down a tiny bit so that first layer isn't so close to permanently bonded with the print bite. It's a tough balance between getting a smooth first layer and ease of removal. The 3D printed portion of the brackets is complete. Next week, we'll be making the rest of the brackets out of reclaimed lumber. And coming up, I'll show you how to securely hang the brackets in drywall. Dang, that's pretty darn cool. I printed them. I I printed them. Where'd you buy those? I made those. You made these? I designed it and I printed it. Dang.